Hi guys and gals, welcome back to another Vinny Vid Productions video. Uh, in this video, we're going to go over to the major changes I'll be doing in the Wickenburg area. Um, I just seen a lot of guys, you know, tearing up their layouts and uh, redoing stuff, even stuff that was done by uh, the, train, the train guy, uh, Bill, the train, train guy. Um, <clears throat> Even those guys are tearing up some of the layout and redoing it and whatever. So I decided I was going to jump on the bandwagon and do a major change myself. Alright guys, this is uh, going to be part two of the major changes to my Wickenburg area. Um, we're going to start with the deconstruction first. Um, as you can see behind me, I have most of the uh, this table here cleared out. Um, just making some markings where things have to be cut and uh, then we'll get on with the rest of the video. So stay tuned and we shall be right back. All right guys, we're gonna start here and as you can see, um, the industry that was here is not here. Uh, I will probably put some sort of, um, maybe a little farmhouse right here because uh, there is farmland right after Fertizona and you guys have to understand that Fertizona doesn't even belong in this place. Um, but it's the best I could do with the, with the space I have available. Anyhow, uh, we'll come around here. And what I did was I eliminated that track and I put uh, one left and one right turn out right there, which will bring me into uh, the Fertizona small yard and the uh, access to Fertizona. We're coming back this way. Trying to move this slow, guys. And this is how the bridge setup is going to be. Uh, there'll be a small pony bridge right there, and then the main truss bridge right there. And I don't know if you guys can see this, but I did add a little weathering to the uh, bridges, as you can see. Uh, the um, abutments and piers I scratch built, I just need to add some wing walls there. There'll be a mountainous area back here, and also the mountainous area will continue down here up to the flyover bridge and then continue on the other side of the flyover bridge um, so uh, <coughs> today is Sunday August 30th uh, 2015 uh, and my buddy George Blair is going to be here to help me out today because this entire board is going to come off the layout and we're going to do our cuts for the river and that section of roadway is going to remain there I'm going to try not to mess that up. As you can see, I have my lines cut out on both sides of the road. Uh, that's because I don't want to mess up the road that I already did. Anyhow, uh, stay tuned for more on this, and uh, we'll see how much we can get done today. Stay tuned, and we'll be back shortly. Alright guys, here we are. We're gonna, uh, my buddy George is here. He's going to help me do, do some of the updates to my uh, Wickenburg area. And today his task is going to be to cut the uh, space out for the uh, river. So are you ready to start cutting there, George? Yeah, just call me Tim the Tool Man Taylor. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let her rip. Now we have the uh, plywood cut out for the uh, river gorge, as you may call it. But uh, the next step is to uh, do the uh, subroad bed that the uh, bridge will actually sit on. So stay tuned, and we'll be right, right back. All right, guys, this is the uh, upper level framework. As you can see, we cut a big chunk out of there. That's about a four foot hole we got right now. Uh, and we're going to put a, uh, let's see if I can explain this a little bit better. We're going to have a subroad bed. That's going to attach to the bottom of the beam here, and it's going to come across here, and that'll give me the floor.
for my river and for my bridge. Uh, so right now we're in the process of getting that all cut up and fitted and then we'll be back and I'll show you after it's in what it's going to look like. Stay tuned and we'll be right back. All right guys, as you can see right now we had the uh, sub road bed in there for the river bottom and the bridge uh, bottom. Next thing is we're going to do is we're going to lay the top on here and see if it all works out the way I planned it to. So stay tuned and we'll be back shortly. All right guys, we're back in the uh, layout room right now and I uh, will show you what George and I have accomplished over this past weekend. Uh, first of all, I, want, I made a statement at the beginning of this uh, video that Fertizona didn't belong here. Um, what I actually meant is it didn't belong in this area. Um, actually, it belongs on the other side of the bridge going that away. <laughs> uh, the distance between this and the flyover bridge, I'm going to guess it's probably going to be about 15 miles. Anyhow, <laughs> uh, we'll get out to this next area where I used to have an industry there. I'm debating whether I'm going to make it a residential area, which is prototypical. Uh, I'm not quite sure yet. These uh, buildings right here were given to me by my buddy Jimmy, Smokey Alco. And Jimmy, I told you that if I can use these buildings, I will. And it looks like it uh, might be a good place for them. Um, <clears throat> it's not the type of house that's really here in uh, Phoenix, but uh, it'll have to work. Anyhow, back in that corner, there'll be uh, mountains and possibly some mountains behind that gas station. I'm not 100% sure if I'm gonna put the gas station there or not. Uh, still gotta make up my mind about that. And then this road right here will curve and go out that way. All right, the flyover bridges are pretty much done. I just need to do some detailing on them. But what I'm doing right here is uh, seeing if the clearance is good. And uh, let's see if I can get around here. As you can see, I probably got to come up about another inch or so. I added a little bit of brown paper here to show you guys how the terrain is going to look. And that'll continue on down to here. And also there'll be uh, mountains behind the track over there. All right, let's get on to the next part, the river. As you can see, we have it all cut out. And again, I put the brown paper in there to simulate the terrain that's going to be there. But the only thing is, I'm not really happy with the uh, actual width of the river. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it back about a half inch on that side. And uh, hopefully that will work out pretty good. And I finally, <laughs> finally filled in that empty spot with the skyboard. Of course, this one here needs to get uh, uh, all sanded down and repainted because I've been using it as a cutting board. <laughs> Okay, so anyhow, we come down here, and uh, like I said, I'm going to widen this up a bit, and I'm going to start here in the front, and I'm going to curve it from here back to the road, and then from the road on out, and again, it's going to be about another half inch worth of cutting I'm going to do. And because I'm making this wider here, I'm going to add this piece under here so I have a, a um, foundation for the scenery that I'll be doing there. Uh, these guys right here are the mounting points for the fascia and uh, <coughs> my roundabout and this will be the road that goes out to Las Vegas and this will be the road that goes to downtown Phoenix and then we got the one here that's going to go to Old Town. Now if I remember correctly there was another street between here and here I don't remember but it doesn't matter because I can't model it anyhow. <laughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Alright, as we follow our road down to um, uh, down to uh, downtown Phoenix, this here is going to have to be adjusted so I can get enough clearance under the, under the uh, track for the, for the uh, traffic. And then this is what Old Town is going to look like at this point. Now, uh, my sidekick, Diana, tells me that right in this area right here is a Ford dealership. So I might just scratch build that. If I do, three of these buildings will come up to this area. Anyhow, <clears throat> a little further down, I know I have the fire department facing the wrong way, but <laughs> I want to see the front and the side of the building. And if I put it the way it's supposed to be, I will not see that. 
and I did not build a scratch build so you could see the back side of the building. <clears throat> Anyhow, <laughs> this road here uh, is going to come down and it's going to meet up with the road that's going to go straight down uh, downtown um, uh, Wickenburg. I also raised this up by three quarters of an inch just so there isn't so much of an incline right here. Uh, this will all get scenery. There'll be scenery in here. Uh, there'll be more scenery back here and also more scenery back here. Anyhow, uh, I think that's going to be it for this video. Uh, let me check my cheat sheet here. <coughs> okay, it seems like I got everything covered right now, but what I'm going to do is when I finish cutting the rest of this out, this part here and down both sides, I'll bring it back and show you the difference. This here is actually a concrete bridge that crosses over. Uh, actually, this is a becomes a dry river right here. But this is here, so I'm going to include it, and then I'll build my um, my stanchions for it. Anyhow, uh, stay tuned, and we'll be back shortly. All right, guys, I just finished cutting out the uh, board as I told you I was going to do. Uh, did make it wider, but it's still not wide enough. I'm going to have to be real easy on how I do the uh, scenery in this area and this area here so I don't use up too much space where the river is going to be. Um, again, come around here, and I did make my uh, road a bit bigger. And as you can see, I did curve it in on both sides. Uh, and then in the back, I trimmed it out also, and then also over here. Um, it is what it is, you know, I can't do anything. This, this bench would have to be at least six inches wider for me to make that river more prototypical. Anyhow, I <coughs> um, hope you guys enjoyed this update. Um, and as always, your questions, comments, input, and subs are always welcome. For now, that's all folks. BNSF 6951 out. Alright guys, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that little uh, update on my uh, Wickenburg area. Uh, but now let's get on to the uh, special announcement. <clears throat> Over the past month and a half or two months, uh, some of my comments uh, from my subs were wanting to know about t-shirts. Uh, like the t-shirt I have on right here. Um, so, I decided that if I can get enough of you guys together to do t-shirts, uh, I will do another order. Um, these shirts, uh, for one shirt, is over 25 bucks. If I can get an order, 40 t-shirts or more, the price will drop down to uh, <clears throat> $18.50, including the shipping. Now, the shipping, uh, including the shirt, is for the U.S., uh, any international guys that buy them uh, will be actual charge for the shipping. Um, I, desi des <coughs> I decided to do it a little differently than what you see on me here today. Uh, let me stand up a bit. And up, up here you can see it says follow BNSF on YouTube and then the YouTube address down here. I decided to change that up a bit. And uh, if you give me a minute, I'll turn the camera around. Uh, to the computer and I'll show you what I have in mind. Um, <clears throat> they are good shirts. Um, I've had them, oh, I think, probably a year and I can tell you that they've been in the wash, pff, I can't tell you how many times, probably once a week for, for the year. Uh, the colors stay, stayed good, uh, the logo stayed good, and it did not shrink. So when you guys order, um, order your actual size because they will not shrink. To get the process going, what I'm going to need from you guys is um, <clears throat> your name, your address, your email address, your YouTube username, your size, and your quantity. Um, <clears throat> anyhow, uh, hang out and let me get the camera turned around to the picture and I'll show you what's, uh, what I think is going to be a pretty good design. So stay tuned and we'll be right back. Alright guys, this is what I had in mind. Um, 
my logo will be there as it is on the black shirts. Uh, instead of putting my YouTube thing up here, I'm going to put uh, BNSF's p Line Sub and at the bottom I'm going to put Phoenix, Arizona. Um, I tried different colors for the shirts. Uh, it basically only looks good if it's either on the black or the white. So, um, I really don't want to do black ones again because people have black ones, so I thought I'd change it up a bit and do white ones. Anyhow, <laughs> if you guys are interested, like I said, uh, for one shirt, it would be $18.50 with the shipping. Um, <clears throat> turnover time for them is two weeks. Uh, and I could tell you it actually took less than two weeks to get the last time. But anyhow, um, again, the, oops, <laughs> that wasn't supposed to happen. Anyhow, um, uh, the shipping for overseas will be actual cost. I don't think it was very much, um, maybe $10 or $12. Don't hold me to that price, guys, because I don't know each country is different. Uh, and the amount of time that the post office takes to get it to you guys is out of my hands. So, anyhow, if you guys are interested, uh, you can contact me at my email address and I'll put it in the video. Uh, for now, uh, that's all, folks. Uh, as always, your questions, comments, input, and subs are always welcome. For now, that's all, folks. BNSF 6951 out. By the way, that's going to be the scene for my uh, Hacienda River uh, project on Wickenburg. Anyhow, okay, talk to you guys later. Bye.